Hey everybody, welcome to another Fashion Friday. It's BB here. If you're new, I do fashion and beauty videos. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. So today I'm going to be talking to you all about my favorite denim brand, which is a Goldie. They make amazing quality jeans that I have really come to love. And I find that they fit me the best out of all the denim brands that I have tried. So if you're interested in a Goldie jeans styles and sizing, then please keep watching. So this pair that I have on right here are the 90s shorts in the grayish black color. I really like how high-waisted these are. These are in the size 27, I believe, and they're a little bit tight on me right now. Um, just because my weight kind of always fluctuates up and down a few pounds. Um, but I really love this colorway. I like that they're not too harsh. like black black but they're still pretty dark and they look good with a lot of different things so i really love these ones and i feel like these run big for sure and i'm generally like a size 28 29 in jeans but i got a 27 in these just because they do run a little big and these as you can see fit my waist pretty well but they are tight here on this area so i really like this style and I have these in a blue jean as well so I'll put those on now. So this is my second pair of 90s loose fit shorts and I'm pretty sure these are in the wash rip tied. So this is what they look like. These are again a size 27 as well just because they are meant to be a looser fit but I didn't want mine to be so loose. I wanted mine to fit me like this so I took a size 27 since they do run big. So these shorts actually look really good with the shirt tucked in like this, and they also look really good with a cropped tank. So a tank that would stop, you know, right at the button here. So I really love these. They're really nice to wear with sneakers, um, heels even, and sandals. They pretty much go with anything. And I love this light wash. I'm really a light wash type of girl. I have washed them quite a bit, and the seam here is starting to split up. I kind of wish it wouldn't do that. I hope it stops there and doesn't go any further up because if it does then the jeans are just going to be kind of open here. That's the only thing I've noticed about these that I don't like and none of my other A. Goldie, well my other A. Goldie shorts didn't do that and all my jeans are still pretty intact too. So I have washed these a lot though. I don't know if that is why. These shorts do come cut like this though. They don't come, you know, seam seamed here. They're supposed to be frayed like that. So I think just the nature of the shorts themselves, that's why that right there happened. So I didn't want to mention that. This pair right here are my 90s high rise loose fit jeans in the wash captured. I really love the positioning of the rips where they put them here on these jeans. There's also one little one down here. I just like the little details in the distressing on these. I love, 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 love the wash. They're a very cool tone wash, and um, I, I just really enjoy these. These are probably my favorite pair out of all of my denim jeans and shorts from a Goldie. I would say to size down two sizes in this, one to two, depending on how you'd like them to fit. I when I bought these, I was generally a size thirty. I was a little, I weighed a little bit more when I got these uh, about a year and a half ago. But now I'm generally like a 28 to 29, and these are in a size 28, and I kind of wish they were in a size 27, because as the day goes on or after two to three wears without washing them, they get really loose because they're 100% cotton, so they do loosen, loosen up on you. Um, but I kind of wish they wouldn't loosen up as much as they do around my waist. Because I think they fit me really well everywhere else. I love how they fit me here on the hips. But they do get very, very loose in here on my waist area. But I do still love these. And these are still my favorite pair from the brand. And I just love the cut at the bottom. I just feel like the quality of the cut of these jeans is what keeps them a cut above no pun intended, other denim brands. I just feel like the way that they kind of hang at the bottom near my ankles, right over my shoes, you can just tell that these are a higher caliber pair of jeans, if that makes any sense. Um, and I would pay more money 
for a nice design and well cut and tailored pair of jeans that will last me years to come than to buy two to three pairs of jeans every two years for 40 or 50 bucks that only gonna last me maybe a year. Okay, so this pair right here are another pair of high rise loose fit jeans from a Goldie in the size 28. These are in the wash affair. I absolutely love these. They're very similar to the ones that I just had on 100% cotton as well. So there's no stretch, but they do loosen up after wear. A bit looser on my waist area, just like the other pair, which has always been a struggle for me. And I feel like a Goldie jeans are the ones that are the best that I can find where the waist isn't so much larger than the rest of the pants. I feel like these are the best that I've found so far and fit me the best. So really love this wash. Again, these are a lighter wash pair of jeans. So this pair here are the darkest pair I have in my collection. These are the pinched waist because they do kind of go in more on your waist here. High rise kick flare jeans from A Goldie. These are in this really dark gray, pretty much black pair of jeans. These are 98% cotton and 2% elastane, so they do have some stretch to them, and you can feel it. It's very light, it's not much, but they're a very comfortable pair of jeans. And I think it is because of that 2% elastane that is in them. As you can see, they do fit pretty snug, but they're a comfortable, snug fit. I really like this kick flare at the bottom, and it looks really good with boots in the fall and winter time. That's normally when I wear these darker jeans. I have these in the size 30. I now would probably take a size 29 in these and I would say that these run true to size. Now for the very first pair of a Goldie jeans and last pair I will be showing you. These are the Ripley style jeans. They have a high rise, but the lowest rise out of all the ones I have, I believe these are an 11 inch rise. And these are in the wash frequency. These are a medium wash blue. They're not quite dark, they're not quite light. And they do have a greenish undertone to them in a way. I really love this wash and how they look. These are a size 29, and I would definitely say to size up in this particular style for Mick Goldie. I find that they are very, very tight in the thigh and hip area and since my weight fluctuates within five pounds pretty much all the time um there are times when these fit me better which is not right now um and i do feel like they're a little bit tight on me right now so i wouldn't wear them out while my weight is where it is right now but since it fluctuates there will be a time again i'm sure pretty soon well these are these will fit me more comfortably again but i love the wash on these and the cut i really like these ones these are a straight pretty much like all my jeans but these are the most slim straight i hope you enjoyed this video i love a goatee jeans and hopefully this video helped you in some way if you've been interested in the brand if you have any questions about the styles or the sizing or the washes, please leave them down below and I'll link all the jeans that I can find if they're still available down below or similar styles. I hope you're all doing well and I can't wait to hear from you in the comments. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll catch y'all next time. This is Keeping Up With Vivi.